Hi everyone. Well, the video you're going to see now is um, me showing you, demonstrating the snoo shade. Um, the snoo shade I bought both for um, the pram slash pushchair and car seat. Here in the UK, which is where I am, there's been a lot of um, advertising and um, a lot of concern about babies overheating in their pushchairs in the summer when um, we just sling or put our cardigans over them to help them sleep or to keep the sun out we um, you know might just put a blanket over them and um, unfortunately what's happened is babies have died because they have um, overheated so there's been a huge um, drive to um, show parents that you know this is obviously not a good good thing to do so um, it's all right obviously in the winter but in the summer when the sun is beating down it just warms up underneath them and then um, there's no air they can't escape they can't have a drink or anything like that um, so this lady this mum designed um, these things called a snoo shade and I bought um, like I say I bought two uh, the reason I bought them is because I am not, um, well I am mum, I've got three grown children though, but because I'm a reborn mummy and um, a reborn doll mummy and I also wanted something that would, you know, uh, keep prying eyes out of when I take my pushchair out with my dolls in it, that would, not necessarily prying, but people are curious, people like to see babies and I don't always want to... Um, join in a chat about why I've got a doll in my pushchair. So um, I was looking around for things to things to use uh, as well as thinking about this situation with babies overheating because people have stopped me and said your baby might o overheat under there if I've um, where I've like once I was at um, a car boot sale with um, my friend Sheena and I had Annie in the pushchair and I had my cardigan over the top of her and a lady stopped me and said, your child will probably overheat. It's really, really hot. I don't know if you're aware of this. And um, she was really concerned and I had to show her that it was a doll and not to worry. Um, and she was like, oh, phew, phew. So these, this is um, genuine things that have happened. And uh, so twice, I have been told that so I thought I'd better invest in something that's going to one um, keep the sun off and to um, do what I want when I feel really anxious I'm not I don't take my babies out to like have them great big on display it's be for me it's for my own personal reasons so um, I don't go out for reactions so I was looking around for something else that I could use um, and then I seen a few other reborn mummies have these snoo shades. So that's what I bought. I bought uh, snoo shades. They're not, unfortunately, they're not cheap. But what they are is they're permeable. So that means that the air goes in and out. The sun, um, it stops the sun from coming in. Well, the harmful UV, UV, UV rays. And um, they're also a quick shower proof so not heavy rain proof and not rain proof but shower proof because we sometimes get that here um, as well uh, but they're permeable fabric which means the air can flow in and out and um, so that's what I'm going to show you now and I urge you to use these because it is also to use something like this there are cheaper versions out there so to something like this because uh, if you don't want to be stopped and if you're also going to going for a realistic vibe when you're out if you're going for realism you want to do something like this um, sunshades they are okay but what I found with sunshades are that I'm always moving them around and parasols they fall off they I just just, just found them they're not that good for me personally there are other things that you can get that um, work. So you could um, clip a muslin at one end of the hood and then clip it over the handle so the air is able to grow, flow underneath. But I did find that with those, that doesn't actually keep the sun out because the sun can penetrate through the muslin. 
Um, so the air might be able to flow, but then it's not keeping the sun out. So it's not keeping sun off of your baby or off of your doll. And these dolls are not cheap. So you also don't want the sun on your dolls, particularly if they've got rooted hair. You don't want them on your dolls um, because it will colour the mohair. And I've had lots and lots of dolls with um, hair and this does happen. It does. Sun does bleach our hair. It bleaches um, mohair as well. Uh, well, that I found anyway. So there's my rambling on and on and on and my few disclaimers. I am not selling this. This is not a paid ad. This is just the, something that I have found helps me. And so um, look around for cheaper options if you can't afford these ones as well. Um, all right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the next next couple of videos. Bye. I've got the snoo shade on the car seat. The only thing I found with it is that you can't do up the snoo shade completely with a toy on it. So if you want to hook a toy around the handle, you can't really because that's the way the snoo shade fits. The, these are Velcro and they Velcro around the handle. And of course, all the toys go around the handle as well. So you can do it like that and then you'll be able to see inside and see the baby. But if I just shut this up and just show you it shut up. Just drop that in there. So that's the snoo shade completely shut. It is breathable and it's permeable, which means that the air goes in and out so the baby doesn't get overheated. Um, this has won lots and lots of awards for that because if you just put a blanket over baby or these other car seat things that are made like this out of fabric they won't allow the baby to breathe so the baby will just get hotter and hotter and hotter in here whereas with this one the baby just stays cool and the air flows in and out but the sun doesn't like flaps it's got this flap over the front this is you put this one up if your baby is sleeping so if you want to black it out completely you just put this one up when you don't want to black it out you just do this you can roll it down and then it fits in a pocket here there's a little elasticated pocket that it fits in there so baby is awake but it's really sunny you want to keep the sun out of their eyes and so then you just have this one on you want to check on baby it's gone overcast don't necessarily need this one on you can just undo it and I'm only struggling with one hand because I've got a camera and there you go you can see baby that way or like I said you can see baby the other way There you go. And the reason I got this is because I have had people stop me when I've had a blanket over to say, oh, your baby can't breathe. Hope you don't mind me saying so. But lots of research has been done, and it has, definitely in this country, about babies overheating. So it's got nice elastic. It just elasticates all the way around. So that's the snoo shade for a car seat. And I do have a snoo shade for the pushchair. So here is the snoo shade on the um, pushchair part of the eye candy. And I have to say, I'm not a lover of it. But, but. It's a really good idea to have snoo shades here in the UK because if you're just draping a, a blanket or 
a cloth or something over your baby or even your cardigan when you're out, you're most likely to get stopped because that means that the baby, the toddler, the child will overheat underneath. The temperature will get hotter inside underneath if you've draped it a, a blanket or your cardigan or your raincoat over the top of it than the outside temperature and that will you know you end up with a very poorly baby so whilst I don't like it um, I don't like the fit of it really um, <clears throat> but it is universal um, but you do need to have a hood some sort of hood so it needs to be able to fold over the hood otherwise it will be right back touching the baby um, and unlike the one the newer model I think it's a newer model that I got for the car seat this only has one this has the snoozy shape but you can't undo it so you can't undo this bit at all you can just so the air can travel in and out of there no problem on your child they won't get sunburnt then if you do this one up it completely blacks it out and it is the sleeping it is one for sleeping a lot of people don't like them because they kind of like don't like the way that they even look so some people have said they look like your baby's in a tomb well I can tell you that I have seen a baby like that and so this looks nothing like that okay for people that are out there who think that this is a protector that's been developed in the UK by UK mum and um, for protecting your child when you're out and about so I don't particularly have it on right but it's also got these these elastic bits so they'll fit anywhere over your um, frame I've got on there all the way down this thing is something like four elastic four bits of elastic so it is elasticated and it's elasticated, it just fits around there so it makes it a bit floppy. Like I say, I'm not a great lover of it. Um, but it will do the job and it will also stop people from knowing what's inside. So I know you can get lots of all sorts of other covers and things. There is another one that I, I like, which is the dookie that clips on and you can unroll it and stretch it so I might look at getting one of those for the push chair I don't know anyway these are my options for taking your babies out in the summer um, and keeping them safe and then they just pack away in these little mesh bags I mean you can squish that you could get that down even further if you folded it all nicely rather than just shove it in like me <laughs> But then you can just push them, put them under the buggy. This is the car seat, one for the car seat, one still on the car seat. And this is the one for the pram and push chair. There we go.